Right now, NASA and Harvard are tracking an object that will be passing the Earth really soon, and it is bringing thousands of meteors with it. In today's video, we'll talk about what this object is and why scientists are concerned about it. So make sure to watch till the end. But before we get into it, as always, we appreciate your support. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. A few days ago, an article was published by the British newspaper Daily Mail titled Thousands of Meteors to light up night sky as NASA tracks 4,000 new comets escorting 3I Atlas toward Earth. The article reports that according to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory or JPL, part of NASA, more than 4,000 new meteors have been discovered accompanying comet 3I Atlas and these will be raining down on the Earth from late February until the end of March 2024. In the article, experts claimed that although the comet itself won't pass Earth very close, its debris will sweep across our planet. This means that during the mentioned period, we're likely to witness an increase in meteor showers. To understand what's happening, let's take a closer look at Comet 3I Atlas. According to the Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, Comet 3I Atlas was first sighted in July 2019, when it was already inside the orbit of Jupiter. It passed Earth's orbit around May last year, and according to NASA, it will return to the Sun on February 5, 2024. However, it won't be visible until December this year. So people who want to see this comet will have to wait a while. The situation is different from what happened in 2023 with Comet C-2022E3. ZTF, which had a peak in brightness in February and then gradually faded away until it became invisible to the naked eye in March. Comet 3I Atlas is different because according to reports, its brightness has increased unexpectedly. Experts say its brightness is increasing at an abnormal rate, which makes them think that something unusual is going on with the comet. It is true that its brightness has increased a lot since it passed Earth's orbit. But there's no evidence that it's getting brighter at an abnormal rate. We know that the brightness of comets can increase suddenly due to a process called outgassing, which happens when the ice and dust on the surface of the comet evaporate, creating a cloud of gas and dust around the comet. This sudden increase in brightness is known as an outburst and can make a comet appear several magnitudes brighter than normal for weeks or months. And although it's not clear if the outbursts of Comet 3I Atlas are normal, experts seem to think that they are. According to Alan Jackson, an astronomer at the Planetary Science Institute, the outburst is probably linked to the rotation of the nucleus. He says that models suggest that the shape of the nucleus is like a pancake and that its rotation speed is quite high. However, he also said that the outburst is probably not the main reason why the comet is brighter. Instead, he believes that the fact that the comet is approaching the Sun is the main factor causing its brightness to increase. Comet 3I Atlas doesn't represent a real danger to our planet. At its closest approach to Earth, it will be about 340 million kilometers away from us. For context, the distance between the Earth and the Moon is about 384,000 kilometers. So the comet will be much farther away from us than the Moon is. However, as the comet approaches the sun, its temperature will rise and it will start to release gases and dust. This material will form a cloud around the comet that could potentially extend as far as the orbit of Mars. And as this material collides with the dust in the Earth's upper atmosphere, it could cause an increase in meteor activity. To understand how this works, let's take a look at what happens with meteors. Meteors are pieces of debris left behind by comets or asteroids that travel around the Sun in orbits similar to Earth as. As the Earth travels through this debris, the pieces collide with our atmosphere and heat up due to friction, leaving behind bright trails of light that we can observe from the ground. However, the intensity of meteor showers varies greatly depending on the amount of debris in the path of the Earth and the speed of the collision. Meteor showers can be classified based on their radiant point, which is the point in the sky from where the meteors appear to originate. For example, the Perseid meteor shower occurs in July and August, 
and has a radiant point in the constellation Perseus. Similarly, the Gemini meteor shower occurs in December and has a radiant point in the constellation Gemini. Each meteor shower has a different radiant point and occurs at a different time of the year. And the intensity of a meteor shower is measured by the number of meteors that can be observed within a specific time frame. The best conditions to observe meteors are when the radiant point is high in the sky and the Earth is traveling through a dense region of debris. The most intense meteor shower that occurs every year is the Perseid meteor shower, which can produce over 100 meteors per hour under ideal conditions. During a meteor shower, meteors can be observed from anywhere on Earth, but some locations are better than others. For example, the Northern Hemisphere is better for observing the Perseid meteor shower, while the Southern Hemisphere is better for the Southern Taurids meteor shower. In general, Meteors are harmless natural phenomena that occur regularly in our planet's atmosphere. They are a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe, and they offer us a unique opportunity to appreciate the beauty of space from the comfort of our planet. Now, let's go back to Comet 3i Atlas. Although it won't pose a danger to our planet, the material released by the comet as it approaches the sun will hit our planet. This material will heat up due to friction with our atmosphere and will leave glowing trails behind. And this will cause a meteor shower. According to reports, the number of meteors during this shower could reach 100 per hour. And although this number might seem alarming, it's not. Comets release dust and gas frequently and the Earth passes through these clouds of debris all the time. The number of meteors we see is usually between 10 and 20 per hour. So seeing 100 meteors per hour would be an intense, but not dangerous phenomenon. And the best part is that it will be accompanied by the spectacle of a comet passing through our night sky. If you want to witness this event, the best thing to do is to go to a location with minimal light pollution and face northeast between 1930 and 2030 Universal Time on February 1st. You can use a telescope or binoculars to see the comet and the meteors. Seeing a comet and a meteor shower is a rare event, and it's even rarer to see both at the same time. So don't miss this opportunity. Even though Comet 3i Atlas won't bring anything bad to our planet, its unexpected outburst serves as a reminder of how unpredictable the universe can be. But it also shows us the amazing things that can happen in space and how fortunate we are to be able to witness them from our planet. At the end of the day, the increase in meteor activity is a beautiful natural phenomenon that we can enjoy as long as we're aware of it and know how to appreciate it. So what did you think about this event? Let us know in the comments. As always, if you liked the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you do not miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.